So I want to ask you there, you've been an accountant since 1980. When, when did you start doing tax returns for the public? Probably 1980, was it? Was it? I think so. Yes, it seems to be Yeah, about 1980, probably, yeah. 74, the floods, uh, 1980, probably, yeah. 1980. So in the entire time there, you've seen some, you've had average people, exceptional people, and just normal people. Yeah. Very rich people, very poor people. Has anyone made money out of Amway or those multi-level marketing schemes? Amway was very popular. We don't even see it anymore. Once upon a time, I'd have one in 20 clients was an Amway dealer. I see. Distributor. Yeah. Distributor. Dealer, yeah. Now, I haven't seen one for about 10 years. Is that right? Not one. All I gone. See. Because they had a tax dodge at one stage. You could, you you, you earned three thousand from Amway, had fifteen thousand expenses. You got a loss of thirteen. You, you, you applied towards your income. Uh, that was hit on the head. That one. So um, they're not able to claim tax deductions. And anyway, you, I mean, Amway the, 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 they go on to say, well, Amway is the most successful business, or well, one of the most successful businesses. Yes, yeah, Amway is, but you won't be because um, you, you, you've got. You know, if you've got, say. In Brisbane, if you've got 1,000 people, Amway dealers, and they each contribute $500 towards Amway, well, 1,000 by 500 is $5 million. Mm -hmm. something in it. It's a lot of money. So um, sure. Amway makes $5 million, but you, you know, you make nothing. So have you ever seen people who've done well out of that? No, no. Yeah, no, I saw one lady. Well, one lady was, uh, well, she was in uh, Amway. Yeah, Amway. Um, she made about 23,000. That's it? Net for the year. And I said, well, it's not bad. She says, no, she said, I put so many hours in it. She said, I put 100 hours a week into it. That's what I made, 23,000. That's it? Yeah. That's not, that's not fantastic, is it? No. I think they make money from selling their byproducts, <coughs> their books and the tools. Tapes. It's called, it's yeah. called, it's yeah. called yeah. the tool scam. So the guys at the top selling tools and they make money, yeah. And, yeah, but, but selling the dream. But it's called, not. Um, it's, it's called not. selling the dream. Selling the dream, yeah. Yeah, and you and, and and when you talk badly on Amway, it's a dream stealer. You're a dream stealer. Yeah. <laughs> I think that um, there's a lot of things that they teach in Amway are probably good, personally good motivation, motivation stuff. But yeah. I, 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 I I don't seem to see many people making money out of Amway or any of those um, MLMs, multi-level marketing. The best I had was I had a lady. Uh, she she went to Perth and I never lost contact with her. What she did, she sewed clothes, mm -hmm. dresses, and then she had a, sh a show. People came to her place mm -hmm. and they looked at these dresses and they bought them. Sure. And were, and then baby clothes too. They were, they were doing sure. that, and they were making good money because it was their thing. They they sewed the clothes, okay. had the show, and then you know. Yeah. But then when she went to Perth, they all folded. You know. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Your husband had, was transferred. So. Uh, and now whether that could continue going, I don't it's know hard either. To say. Um, it's like a, a, my fellow who's, who's painting. He's a painter, and he did all those uh, uh, original prints out of original paintings. Sure. And he did very well for a while. Then it just sort of died. Uh, didn't put the effort into it anymore, and uh, uh, the patronage dropped off. You know, the demand for his product, and that's uh, how it goes, isn't it? Yeah, I think. Easy come, easy go. Yeah, they say in in. Um, in marketing, that you, 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 your things go up like that, and then they go down, and they go up, and they go down. And what you're going to do with Colgate toothpaste or Omo, you know, or sewing powder, as it goes down, you need a new product to come in and take over. Mm. So that's how they do it. See, um, unless you've got something like Coca Cola, well, it's, it's very difficult. But you can see it's going to go down. It's very hard to find the next product for you. It, well, 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 they have to, they have to hard, make a new they? product. That's right. They, they've got to do it and advertise and sell it. And that's, well, that's, that's, that's easier said than done. It's easier said than done. It costs a lot of money. You know? It's very difficult. You look at the money that Coca-Cola puts into it, its product, which is a nothing. A Coca-Cola is a, it's a drink. I mean, I like it. I, I like it better than Pepsi and everything. I, I don't know why, but I like it. You know? yeah. But um, they put millions and millions in advertising. Everywhere you go, there's signs, there's... There's billboards, there sure. uh, ads on TV, or used to be ads on TV. You know, things go better with Coke. You know, um, it's just it, it's multi-million um, 
uh, of advertising, isn't it? Marketing. Yeah. And, and then, yeah. Um, I suppose I, I'm, I mean, more, I'm more pleased that it's in, into that than cigarettes. Remember the old days, they used to have the cigarettes used to do that. They put a lot of money into cigarettes. Had guys riding horses and sportsmen and all that, sure. all smoking cigarettes. And um, how they got away with it, I don't know, because all that happened to this, these guys ruined their lungs, didn't they? With tar and stuff. And uh, now you can't advertise cigarettes. In fact, every, you buy a packet of cigarettes and it's got the, this causes death, and it's got this big picture of your heart or your lungs or capsizing. It the government's taxing the shit out of it, mind you. And the government's taxing the shit out of it, yeah. Mm. So how, how they can survive it, yeah. So they, they, they make money in the third world countries, don't they? In Russia yes. and in Poland, and yeah. that's where they make money out of cigarettes. Yeah. Not in Australia. No, that's exactly it. And that, and that's a saving on. It's saving it in one sense. You know, the government's taxing it, and, and this, so it's less revenue for them. But it also helps them in their health thing because people are not getting as sick. If no. they were smoking, you know. In fact, in the many surgeons won't operate on you in serious conditions if you're smoking. Yeah. Or if you're overweight too, mm. they won't. They won't operate. That's exactly it. Uh, because. Uh, there's no point. It, you, Mind you, you it's probably best to stay away from the knife a lot of the time. It's probably not a bad thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. the knife is never an instant cure, is it? No, just only an instant cure for the doctor's budget. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I mean, surgery is exactly sometimes okay. easy. We'll just stop that there.